Welcome to the School of Business at Francis Marion University. This short video walks you through the courses you need to take to complete your Bachelor's of Science in Computer Science at FMU. Please use this worksheet to plan your schedule and make sure you have it completed when you go to see your advisor. In this video, we start with the general education requirements, then talk about the computer science major, and finally, the math minor. The general education requirements are 48 credit hours. It contains the following sections, communications, nine hours, mathematics, six hours, science, 12 hours, humanities, nine hours. Computer science majors are strongly encouraged to take Econ 203 and 204 as their social science as it will make it easier for them to transfer into the MIS major if they want to make the change later on. Let's start talking about the nine hours required for communications. This contains Speech 101. English 101. Then after taking English 101, you can take English 102. It is important to note that this sequence of English 101 then English 102 is important as you need to finish this before you can take English Literature, which is a humanities requirement. Also, English 318 or Technical Writing. The math requirement is important for students to pay careful attention to. The math department decides where students are placed based on their SAT or ACT math scores. Students who need help to succeed in math are placed in Math 105 College Algebra 1 before they can take Math 111 College Algebra 2. And then once they finish both of these courses, they can take Math 132 Trigonometry or Math 137 Pre-Calculus. All computer science majors are required to do a math minor and many complete a double major. If you are a computer science major and struggling in math, you may wish to talk to your CS coordinator or the Dean of the School of Business. A few students with very high math scores are placed directly into Math 132 or Math 137 and can take Math 201 as their second math. Math classes starting from Math 132 or 137 need a grade of C or higher to progress to the next math class. Humanities requirements include one English Literature course, which is English 250. Remember, you should have completed English 102 before you can take English 250. One History class, and you can select from 101, 102, 103, 104, or 105. This essentially is U.S. History before the Civil War, U.S. History after the Civil War, European History before the French Revolution, European History after the French Revolution, or World History. One Introduction to Art, Music, or Theater which allows you to read about and appreciate these topics. One, Humanities Elective, which covers any of the three topics above, or Philosophy, or Religious Studies. The Science Requirement has three science classes, each one with a lab. All students have to take a biology or life science with a lab. If you are attending Francis Marion, choose Biology 103 or 104. If you are transferring a three credit hour biology class in from another institution as Biology 105, you can take Biology 115, a one credit hour lab, to complete this science requirement. 
All students have to take one physical science. They can be chemistry, physics, or physical science. You have to do it as a four credit hour course. That is, three credit hours of theory and one credit hour of lab. Finally, you can take a four credit hour course in astronomy, biology, chemistry, physics, physical science, psychology 206, the theory, and psychology 216, the lab, or honors 280 through 289. That is, if you are an honors student. Social sciences require three courses with three credit hours each. Political Science 101 or 103, which is U.S. Government or Introduction to Political Science. Computer Science majors can take Economics, Geography, Anthropology, Sociology, or another Political Science for the other two Social Sciences class. It is, however, recommended that students take Economics 203, Introduction to Microeconomics, and Economics 204, Introduction to Macroeconomics, as part of the social sciences requirement. This allows you to transfer from your BS in Computer Science to a BBA in the MIS program, which we will discuss later. Please note the color coding for classes offered only in the fall and spring. All computer science majors need to start with Computer Science 190 and the 190 Lab, Programming Fundamentals, and Math 132, Trigonometry, or Math 137, Pre-Calculus. Students would need a grade of C or above in these two courses to be admitted into the Computer Science program. The next set of courses are CS226 Programming and Algorithmic Design 1 and Calculus 1. Remember, you need a C or above in the prerequisites to take the next classes. Once these are completed with a C or above, you can take Computer Science 227 Programming and Algorithmic Design 2 and Computer Science 313 Systems Design and Development. To take CS 313, you must have finished CS 227 or must be taking it in the same semester. Note that CS 313 is offered only in the fall semester. CS 227 is the prerequisite for CS 318 data structures and algorithmic analysis, which is offered in the spring and CS313 is a prerequisite for CS340, Software Design and Development, and CS430, Database Management Systems Design, which is also offered only in the spring. Once you have finished CS318 with a C or above, you are eligible to take your two electives, CS360, Computer Graphics, and CS 437, Artificial Intelligence, which are offered based on demand and resources. You also need to take Math 202, Calculus 2, after you have completed Math 201, with a C or above, and then Math 230, Discrete Mathematics 1, offered in the spring. Only then can you take CS 280, Digital Systems Design in the fall only, and then Computer Science 310, Computer Architecture and Organization in the spring. Then, Computer Science 410, Operating Systems, and Computer Science 440, Computer Networks, in the fall only. CS 410 and CS 440 also require Computer Science 318 to be completed along with CS310, each with a grade of C or above. After Math 230 and Computer Science 318, you can take Computer Science 350, Theory of Computation, 
And once you have completed that with a C or above, you will need to complete CS 401, Programming Languages. Finally, you have two more electives, Computer Science 330 Special Topics and Computer Science 475 Internship. This is strongly encouraged. And then finally, the capstone project in your senior year, which will be CS 480 and CS 482. Please work closely with your advisor as computer science classes have a lot of prerequisites and the requirements that each prerequisite has to have a grade of C or higher to move forward. All CS majors must complete a math minor. After completing the Gen Ed requirements, Math 111 and Math 132 or 137, you will all complete Math 201 Calculus 1, Math 202 Calculus 2, then Math 230 Discrete Math 1, and then Math 312 Probability and Statistics. All of these classes require a C or above to move forward. You also have two options for the last two classes of your minor. Option A, Math 203 Calculus 3 and then Math 425 Numerical Analysis or Option B, Math 304 Linear Algebra and Math 305 Linear Programming. Many CS majors double major in math. If you would like to double major in math and computer science, talk to your advisor about how to schedule your classes. To recap, computer science majors must have an overall GPA of 2.0 or a C in all classes. In fact, as you may have noticed, most of the classes require a grade of C or higher for you to proceed to the next class. A math minor is required, but does have two different options. Computer science students who prefer to do less math can switch to the BBA Management Information Systems major with the Systems Design track to obtain a business degree with a programming background. Computer science is an excellent major with students not only having a 100% placement rate after graduation, but also getting some of the highest paying jobs.